What's up, Better Days? Today we're at Center Hill Dam. I'm in my boat, and I timed it to get here when the generators turned off. And when I got here, there was, at 7 a.m., it was supposed to run from 6 to 7, uh, there was a whole bunch of people here who were packing up. I started asking what was going on. The generators just turned on at 7 a.m. So the schedule online was just completely inaccurate. Instead of being off, it's on and it just started. So you can't always trust that generating schedule. You've got to be prepared for this dam to release water at any time uh, or to not release as well. So just keep that in mind when you're trying to come up here and go fishing. There's been plenty of times in my life where I've come up here and not been able to fish and just turned right around. But we're in the boat today, so we should stand a pretty good chance of catching some fish. The fish are jumping. The fish are jumping. Let's set ourselves up with a gulp minnow. I've been using these and people have been asking, what are you catching all those trout with? On the day that I caught 93 trout, this is what I was using. This is called a trout magnet. That's just a small jig head. And this is a silver color. And these are gulp alive. one inch minnow it says black shad on top that's probably the color black shad rig this little guy right through the top there we go Ended there. Got to lengthen our anchor a little rope a little bit. There we go. All right. Gulp minnow. There we go. This is a four and a half foot Shakespeare micro series rod and reel and this is six pound berkeley trilene and i'm just gonna i'm gonna throw it out there but it only goes about 25 feet it don't go very far and you really don't have to do anything i just cast it out there and let the current that comes off of that waterfall push it right out there and then i just hold it against the current every once in a while give it a jig it will eventually sink to the bottom so you're gonna have to reel it in some but not much There we go, we got a fish. Oh no, tell me it's not. A carp ate this. A giant carp, please no. What are they doing? Oh my gosh. Try to get some of this line back. 
Come on, buddy. A carp ate my gulp minnow. It's absolutely maxing this tiny little rod out. Oh, jeez. Well, this is going to be a big first fish. <laughs> I won't be able to show you guys this whole fight. Carp is another one of those fish that you can grab by the lip if you want to. There you go. Look at that goldfish. Beautiful goldfish. Man, that was fun. There we go. Nice fish. What was sitting over there? Good fish. What is this? Crappie? No, it's a trout. There's a trout sitting over on the rocks. No, it's a stripe. <laughs> I don't think it's a white bass. I think it's a striped bass. No, it is. It's a white bass. No, that's a baby stripe. No, that's a white bass. You guys decide. Stripe, white bass, one or the other. Pretty, though. Oh, we caught a fish that's not a carp, I don't think. Looks like a good one. Maybe a crappie. I keep saying that, and it keeps on being a striped bass. Watch this one be a striped bass as well. Yep, striped bass. Okay, what kind of white bass we got here? Let's see that. True white? That's a true white bass. Come on now. He was chilling in the waterfall, hanging out, looking for little minnows. There we go. That's one heck of a fish. What have we got here? Come on, buddy. What is this? A bass? A huge bass? Looks like a trout, maybe? A giant trout? Yes, a giant trout. Oh my gosh, guys, this just went from a great day to an amazing day. Oh, 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 oh. wow. Look at this trout. Okay, that's incredible. I was using my little yellow jig that I like to use for smallmouth bass. Look at that, that's what caught this giant trout. Let's get a quick measurement. We want it to be 20 inches. Come on, come on. Oh, it's huge. It's not, it's 18 inches exactly. 18 inches, well, maybe a little over 18 inches. There we go, you guys. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to get a picture. I'm all by myself. And we want this trout to get out of here. No need in weighing him, he's way over three pounds. 
Oh man, it's actually a she. This is a hen, a female rainbow trout. It's my second biggest trout of the year. There we go. Oh, you guys. Oh. Oh my goodness. And there she goes. And there she goes. Oh, there we go. Wow, what have we got here? Wow. Stay hooked, fish. Ned rig. Is it a drum again? Please don't be another drum. It's flashing like a drum. I've hooked it in the mouth. Man, we're catching some big fish today. I love fishing here. It is a drum. This is close to a trophy. No, maybe not. Trophy drum, 28 inches. This one's probably only 22 or so. There we go. All right, we've got our hands on some big fish today. Ruin that Ned rig. Wow. Looky here. Look at this guy. Come here, you. Open your big dumb mouth there we go oh don't bite me <laughs> oh he's he's seven pounder ah, come on buddy okay big old freshwater drum there he is, big guy. Golly, hefty. I give the splash a 10. Little piggies. So that's the trip to Center Hill Dam by boat. If you want to take this trip, it's $400. Hit me up, betterdaysfishing at gmail.com. You can check out my website, betterdaysfishing.com. You can do this trip in a kayak. It's a little cheaper. I'll bring out a couple kayaks. We'll do this. It's $250. If you want a chance to catch one of these giant rainbows, 
hit me up. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a better day.